Good morning, everybody. I am starting out at like stupid o'clock here in uh, Zurich. And I'm gonna to start today's video by giving you a quick look at my collection. The show's finally arrived. Um, I know a lot of people don't like these kind of videos because they think they're like showing off and stuff. But if you don't like it, don't watch it. That's my motto. Okay, so I'm just going to give you a quick look in here. Um, I just banged that against the wall. Um, we have, this is a, I think it's oh, a Leotorp. I'm pretty sure it's a Leotorp cabinet from um, Ikea. And these are knobs from the rice people that I just kind of threw on to make it look a little bit more unique and different i don't know they just i like them they look cool okay this is uh on the top of the opi collection up here the the they're not in any order they've just kind of been thrown up so my idea is to go through each brand one brand at a time and as i'm doing it then i'll sort it um so here we have um, ILNP, some pretty serious, and this is where the Illamasqua would go. I'm collecting my new ILNPs this morning, so they'll be going there. Um, here we have Zoya, we have Sosu, I have a few new Sosus as well that are going to go there. Um, over here we have Essie. Essie is outgrowing its its uh, its space. Um, again, it's another one that needs to be. I need to do an updated version of the collection. Then down here we've got China Glaze. And over here I took these out of the boxes. Uh, this is the Femme Fatale collection. They just didn't fit very well with the boxes. And also I couldn't see what was inside. And then at the back we have Picture Polish. And then behind that again, Cadillacer. Okay, and then in the size there's just like bits and pieces. All right, quickly down here then, we have on the top row, um, this is Essence, Miss Lynn, Manhattan, a couple of Max Factors, a couple of Alessandros, just kind of, these are kind of budget collections. This is all of the Essence trends in the middle. And then over here, we have um, H&M, Maybelline, and then there's like a random few L'Oreal's as well. And then at the side, you'll see there's like two lunch boxes. One is full of dishes stuff and one is full of um, stamping things and sponges and stuff like that. And then I have my Moira stamping plates in that pink little folder, which I will show you again. Then down here, we have um, Seate and Catrice and i think that's it in the back what's in the back um oh the swiss polishes and some bourgeois uh the swiss polishes like the luanas that's it sinful colors is next and wet and wild a couple of cuccios over here we've got some more indies starlies illyrian scofflas emily de molly some Chanel, some YSL, some Celestial, and one Dance Legend, and a couple of Butter Londons. And then down at the very bottom, we have my Mavala and Polish Me Royalty. And then in here, we've got some giveaway stuff at the bottom, actually. Uh, my OPI travel case and all of my gel stuff is in on top of that gold thing. The reason I put my Mavala and Polish Me Royalty at the bottom is... They're the lightest, so I can pick them up quite easily. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I have some Leighton Denny's there as well. All right, so I'm going to pause and um, show you some new nail polish. Isn't that exciting? So, guys, here we are with two new um, Essence Trends collection. This one is the Glitter in the Air collection, and I believe this is available from December to, or sorry, January to February, maybe. No, December to January, and this one is available from January to February. But they always go on sale like a little bit before, so I got this at the end of December, and I got this um, not long before that, actually. I just hadn't gone around to looking at them. Um, and these ones I haven't seen very much, and these ones I've seen once. 
I saw them once in the supermarket and I grabbed them and I haven't seen them again. Um, and I think when you see these, you'll see why they've been so popular. Um, I had a look ahead at the Valentine's February collection and I'm not going to get it because it doesn't look great. And also I'm on a no buy. So let's start with the Glitter in the Air polishes. Sorry for the banging. Okay, uh, so there was a Glitter remover polishes, a uh, bottle of nail remover as well it's really really good it's kind of thick and gritty works really really well i have this kind of um pink cream and i don't like i think there might be no i don't think there's any glitter in it at all so i'm not sure why this is in it only for the fact that this seems to be in the color of the the collection if you know what i mean that's the color they had out so um it's not it's not a a hugely unique color but let's see how well it is in one coat sorry that's a very thick kind of uh, application there but I want to see hmm this one's kind of interesting this is one coat and it looks pretty good on one coat uh, now my application was a little bit thick but I think that looks really good on one coat. Lovely kind of work polish. Really, really like that. Let's see if I could turn on off the light. So you can, no, I think I need the light on. Um, yeah, that's really, really pretty. So that pink, kind of dusty pink color is called um, Live, Love, Shine. Sorry, I should have done these in order. This number two. I'm not with it though. It's very early in the morning. It's like 7.30 in the morning. Okay, there you go. So that's Live Love Polish. Let's put her over there. Here we have number three, which is Too Glam to Give a Damn. And this is um, like a rose gold color, but it's a very light rose gold. It's not It's not very strong. So um, yeah, it's, it's a very, very light rose gold. Beautiful kind of metallic. Let's have a look at what this is going to be like. Actually, this one I was most looking forward to because I thought it would be really nice with that um, full bottle uh, Seate that I got. So, let's see. Very good formula on all of these. This I would imagine you'll have to be careful with for brush strokes. It's a little bit brush strokey but that might dry out so let's have a look so this is too glam to give a damn so there you go it's, you're not picking up the pink in it it is very um very delicate but it's definitely there it's not your your it's not a very strong rose gold but again you'd have to be straight i think with those brush strokes because think that's going to be a bit brush strokey. All right, so the next one then, let's put you over here. I love these bottles. The next one is number four. Oh, I've left the last one. Okay, doesn't matter. Number four is called Born to Sparkle and it's a teal green, green shimmery metallic base with um, silver glitter inside. So you can see all that silver glitter. So and it seems to be hex and circle glitter yeah so let's have a look i feel kind of hoarse this morning you know when you wake up and you're just like mm. i haven't had coffee yet i just decided do you know what I'm just gonna make a video that's gonna this is my new like being more positive being more productive Um, just make a video get it out of the way then you've done something productive for today uh, and also it's a nice thing to start off with because I like making videos. I like talking about nail polish. Uh, not so sure about this one. It's a little bit chunky. Um, but I do appreciate it for a mainstream brand. It's very different for sure. Um, I hope you can see this. I don't know why focus just works sometimes and then not other times. Um, hello. Let's see that helps okay a little bit so you can see there all the glitter i'd imagine this would be quite textured but the glitter isn't very sparkly on the nail maybe on a second coat it would be but it does 
give a very unusual effect. It's almost like um uh like a lizard effect or a crocodile effect or something. It's a bit weird. It's not very glittery. Like there's obviously glitter in it, but it's not very sparkly, I should say. Um because glitter doesn't have to be sparkly, does it? So yeah, interesting polish. It doesn't look as sparkly as it does in the bottom. Maybe maybe with top coat it'll look better. So oh by the way, these are long lasting nail polishes with a diamond effect, apparently. Hmm, interesting. Maybe it'll be sparkle with top coat. Okay, and the last one, which is actually number one, is Hey Gorgeous. And it's this grade brown colour. Really, really nice. Very, very uh, creamy. Again, not sure what where the glitter part is this, but I think it was this and the pink that are like the, the colour of the trend. So, yeah. Oh, this is not as thick. Let's see. Oh no, it is. But did I do that a bit too thick? This one I think is a little bit more runny than the pink. Um, not blown away by this formula, I have to say. Not the best, but there it is. It is a lovely color, but uh, maybe it was my application. It is pre-coffee. All right, so let's move on to uh, the next collection, let's do these ones in order. Let's try to be good. Okay, so we've two, three, four, and one. Okay, so in this collection, the we've got two icy mats. So they're number one and two. So this is the first one. This is a red, and I love the frosted bottles on these. They're beautiful. And um, this is called Miss Frost. Oh, just as I said it. And uh, this has a shimmering matte effect. Um, I'm very, very excited to have these because you'll see, you'll see. So there's a slight shimmer to this, but it is matte. So it's like a brighter version of like Posh from Zoya. And I love that nail varnish, which I got a few months back. Very, very nice. This probably need two coats, although it's not too bad on one. So this is Miss Frost, a very bright red matte, and you can just see the shimmer. So I'm going to leave that to one side and show it to you again in a bit when it's dried out a little bit so you can see the matte. And this is the grey matte. This is sea ice, or icy ice. It's very hard to say, actually. And this is a grey shimmery matte. And um, these are lovely. I bought some, like, um, an ugly jumper stamping plate um, over Christmas. I think it's Colour Club. And um, I thought, well, these are going to look cool over these matte polishes. Uh, get that jumper effect. So this is really beautiful. I don't have a matte grey. So I'm really, or a shimmery matte grey. So I'm really looking forward to this. So this is I See Ice. And again, I'm going to show it to you there before it dries and bring it back to you when it is dry so you see the matte. Okay, the last two have luminous effects. They're not, um, they are not mattes and they kind of have a color shifting effect, or a luminous effect really, but you know, it has a lilac with a pinky gold shimmer, this one. And this one is called Lum Lumos Lumosi, Lumosi, Lumosi. Okay, uh, very pretty. So I haven't actually opened these yet, so I don't know how opaque they're going to be, and I don't know how, um, okay, they're very, very sheer, but that's okay. They'd be good for a French manicure, which I never do these days. Uh, I haven't done French manicure in about a year now at this stage. Um, but actually you'd probably be okay. You'd get it, you might get it eventually opaque. Yeah, I'm sure you would. Um, very pretty, very, very delicate. Uh, it looks much more impressive, actually, to me. Uh, oh, there, if I tip it that way, you'll see all that beautiful pinky gold shimmer. So that's going to be very, very nice. Yeah, very happy with that. I think that's going to be a lot closer to the bottle than I actually re realised. So, yeah, very, very nice. So that is Lumosi. And the next one, our last one, is Let It Glow. Oh. I won't sing it because Disney might slap me with a copyright thing, would they? I don't know. I'm not sure how that works. Anyway, this is a very pale pink and it's got um, 
uh, whited pinked shimmered to it. Um, I don't think it's gold. Maybe there is a little bit of a gold in there as well. Very, very pretty. Very, very delicate. I'd imagine this is going to be like the lilac. It's going to be quite sheer. Mm, maybe not. Oh no, it is. It is. It is. Try and do a little thicker coat to give you an idea of what it would look like. Sorry about that. Um, the doorbell went there. I had a package. I haven't broken my no buy. I bought it in December. Just arrived today. Anyway, um, just a little bit of makeup. So that is. Ooh, I let the bottle off. Let's see. Uh, that is let it glow. Very beautiful. Oh, you can really see the gold there. Actually, it's much more of a golden shimmer. All right. So the mats should be dry by now. So we have the grey one. Look at that. It's so velvety. That is beautiful. Oh, wow. And it feels... Oh, there's something about the texture of that. I don't want this to turn into an ASMR video, but that's really that's really pleasing. Beautiful, no brush strokes. And the red is here again. Very velvety looking. Very pretty. I actually like them like that, but I'm sure if you top coat them, they'll look amazing. Um, they will look... Yeah, they, 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 I really, really like them. Very nice. So that's our two trends collection, the Glitter in the Air collection, and the Winter Glow collection. Very, very nice, both of them. Really, really good. I'm kind of hoping Essence holds off on releasing good trends for a while, because I really am, as you see, I'm really running out of room. Okay, so Thursdays from now on will be a mixture of... Um, collection videos a few of you have been asking me to look at certain parts of my collection so i'm going to start off with picture polish uh i think or opi i have them both down so i have to see which one i'm starting with um so yeah picture polish opi and i'm also going to be doing my nail art videos from um the spring so for the whole of the spring i'm going to do stamping and things like that you will watch me fail miserably but i'm going to try it Definitely. And um, is there anything else I wanted to tell you? No, I think that's everything. Okay, so enjoy your weekend, guys.